This mom in Ohio says police flashbanged her damn baby after raiding the wrong house, which they did even after being told it was the wrong house. Right, so this is the mom, Courtney Price. And for the past 17 months, she's been doing her best to take care of her infant son, Waylon. He's a little baby. He was born premature, just one pound, two ounces. And now he suffers from a serious lung disease, pulmonary hypertension, as well as having a hole in his heart. So while they're waiting for this surgery related to his heart defect, this mom and her little son, they're staying with her aunt, Rita Jennings, who lives in Elyria, Ohio. And as it turns out, a former tenant who lived in the house a year ago was wanted by the police. And in that time, she says the cops have shown up at her door five times looking for the suspect. And she keeps telling them they do not live here. But apparently, the cops just don't believe them because they showed up again this month. Except this time, Jennings was at work. And the only people inside were Courtney and Waylon. Thanks to body cam footage, we see the cops rush up to the front door, guns drawn, and they yell this. Police search warrant, come to the door! Police search warrant, come to the door! Giving Courtney about five seconds to even think, much less open the door before they then do this. Dogs, dogs, dogs! Oh, Police Lord. search warrant! Coming down the stairs! In that loud explosion you heard, it wasn't the battering ram smashing in the door. It was an officer detonating a flashbang grenade, which if the name didn't tip you off, produces this blinding flash and a loud bang. You also heard some glass shattering because the cops broke two windows. And that included one outside the room where Waylon was sitting below in his swing hooked up to a ventilator. So this is where things get very messy. Because while Courtney claimed that the grenade flew through the window, the video actually shows the cops setting it off right outside. So still, you had Courtney claiming the glass showered down on her baby and smoke filled the room with her telling 19 News. I didn't know what to do because there was guns pointed at me. I wanted to run to him, but I knew if I ran to him, I would, they could have shot. They drug me out of the house, put me in handcuffs. I kept screaming, my baby, my baby, he's on a ventilator, my baby's in here. And so eventually, the cops unhandcuff her, they let her back inside. A police statement saying, Elyria police detectives, Elyria fire paramedics, and the mother assessed the condition of the child, confirming that the child did not sustain any apparent visible injuries. And going on to say that the child's mother informed detectives that she intended on taking the child to the hospital due to the child's pre-existing illness unrelated to the tactical operation. And so according to the police, an ambulance arrived, paramedics assessed Waylon, and they took him to the hospital. With Courtney saying that he was sent home that at night, but the next morning, his blood oxygen level dropped dangerously low, so she rushed him back. And according to her, Waylon was diagnosed with chemical pneumonitis from the chemicals in the flashback. With Jennings telling WJW, the baby is now in the ICU. He's got burns all over him. Inside of his lungs are burned. He was on his ventilator and saying they let the baby lay there for about 35 to 45 minutes in the smoke. But then in response to all this, the police department put out a statement defending itself, saying diversionary devices, right, flashbang, do not produce a continuous burn, and they do not deploy or contain any pepper gas or chemical agents. And saying any allegation suggesting the child was exposed to chemical agents, lack of medical attention or negligence is not true. So now you have the city's mayor saying the allegations are extreme and deeply concerning, and he's ordered a complete review of the incident. But either way, regarding like what actually happened during the raid, the family is saying they're moving to a new home next week because they don't feel safe anymore, and adding that they're also planning to take legal action against the department. But all in all, we're gonna have to wait to see how things play out because while this is all one thing, there's actually two things at play. Or just by itself, there is the raiding of the wrong house. There's even audio where you hear one of the cops say, and then secondly, there's a situation about what actually happened with the flashbang and the health of the baby. And so with all that said, I gotta ask you, what are your thoughts here?